Well, today, everyone, it's uh, it's an exciting day. It's a bit different because this time we, in fact, are the news that's being covered. All right. We've talked a few times about the game development work that we do. It's finally time. So today you're going to learn about The Pale Beyond, our first game. You're going to learn about Bellular Studios, the now official name of, uh, of the studio, and Fellow Traveler, who are publishing our game game. There is so much to talk about today, and if you want to support us, support what we're doing with this, the best way you could help us is wishlisting the game on Steam. There'll be a like a link down below, or you could just type it into Steam. It's kind of surreal being able to put The Pale Beyond into Steam and, and see us there. Um, oh, what, what, a, what a weird moment. But before we go, go into more details, it is time for the trailer. So you're looking a job, eh? Let me tell you what you're getting yourself into. We'll be sealing aboard the Temperance, a rescue vessel sent out to find her sister ship, lost in the ice. As my second in command, you'll be responsible for 24 crew members. Well, 36 if you count the sled dogs. <laughs> I suggest you study the crew manifest, get to know everyone, and try to keep them on your side. You could save lives one day. Ghost forbid the cold takes me or the ship. And I'll leave you in charge. Life on the ice is cruel. Will you make the choices no one else can? Promise me you'll do right by the crew. Whatever it takes. Let's just hope it doesn't come to that, shall we? Oh man, there we have it. You know, it's it's still kind of surreal for me because that's the voice of Ian McElhenney, who is Sir Barristan in Game of Thrones, who um, is, of course, Granda Joe in Derry Girls. So getting him in for the trailer was, was so much fun. And just as a project, we've all we've just we've all just fallen in love with it. It's been so much fun. It's been such a journey actually getting this game into development. There's so much to share there. And as I said, if you're interested in the game, well, there's two things. Number one wishlisting the game on Steam is the best way to help us out. And number two, there is the Bellular Studios YouTube channel. Because, hey, we need another YouTube channel. <laughs> there, you'll find the trailer, as well as a sort of introduction sit-down with uh, me and Thomas. Thomas, you haven't seen him before, but he has been here since the very beginning. And, you know, as, as a game, to, to go to where this comes from, you know, really directly from my childhood. In fact, a specific drive in my dad's van while uh, listening to Endurance, the, the audiobook um, that is recounting the Shackleton expedition. And, you know, overall, our game is in, in many ways a love letter to the heroic age of Antarctic uh, exploration. You know, the, the themes of leadership, the human stories, the things that people were able to, uh, you know, to persevere through. And sometimes when people, you know, unfortunately did meet their end, how they did that, what actually happened. There are some just fascinating stories there. Now, this is not a, uh, a non-fiction. This is a fictional game. It is not set on Earth. The inspirations are rather clear. There are some more things going on to that world that we'll be very excited to share with you later. It's the sort of game where, really, the way I see people playing it is with the headphones on, just nice and cozy, you're immersed, you're taken somewhere else. It's a game where your choices matter. And I know that's the sort of thing that people can clown on sometimes, and I get why, too. For us, really, that, that's been the core in, in writing the script. You know, multiple characters uh, can die. They do have different endings. And it's not just a thing of, you know, oh, you very clearly make the A or B choice. There is that, but also there is how you manage your expedition, the morale of your crew, the resources, how you actually delegate your team to send your different members off to different places. And then, of course, your individual relationship with the cast of characters, which is something that is going to matter. So it's a sort of game we just we just want people to get immersed and to just have, you know, a, just that span of happy time where you can think a few months after, oh, I've, I really enjoyed the weekend where I played that. that. That's really how I see it. Now, our game is being published by Fellow Traveler. Uh, Fellow Traveler are a narrative 
publisher in the indie space. They run Loot and Arcon, if you've ever heard of that. Um, I think some of the more notable games, I think you may have heard of Genesis Noir. That was, I don't know if it was Microsoft, but it like it's on Game Pass and it was at like one of the, the big expos that happened um, and a bunch of other really great games too. So they're a perfect publisher for us. They've been fantastic to work with and you know, we'll be able to give you insight eventually on the actual process of getting a publisher, working with a publisher, how all those things actually work at the indie level. And then also, as a studio, we do have a lot more to share. So you can check out the Bellular Dots uh, Games website. That's the studio's website. There's also the Bellular Studios YouTube page as well. We've got the trailer there as well as um, yeah, sit down with me and Thomas if you want to learn a little bit more. So, man... Video games, it's its finally happening. It is finally happening. And if you want to help us out, the wish listing on Steam is, uh, is, is the way to do it. And we would really, really appreciate it. So there you go. Hello, Matt. Hello. This is uh, certainly interesting having, you know, obviously I joined starting game development and then moved over to the YouTube side. So actually seeing the project that started after I left, moving on all that stuff is actually great. And there's something about the Steam page in particular where... Obviously, you could see the Steam page on the back end, but seeing it actually like searchable and findable publicly is a very, very different experience. I can see now why you know all those uh, like little games that pop up on like r slash PC gaming of people going, "Oh, hey, I've been working this for a couple of years. Here's like the first game I worked on." Uh, you can kind of see how that's such a strong experience for people. But it's because uh, you were talking about what experience you want people to have, and it being like a happy time sort of thing. Obviously, it's less happy overall and more satisfied with the overall experience. Yeah, I, I mean, different things can happen in this game. Yeah. And we are very much trying to stay, you know, authentic to that experience. That does mean there are tough calls. That does mean, you know, there are tragic things that, that can happen because, I mean, it, it is that sort of story. Um but that, that feeling of, you know, you have taken part in something that is almost mythical, you know, where you feel like you're taking part in something that will become history. That is that is that feeling. And I just think we all know, you know, you reach the end of a game and just feel like, you know, oh, that was a, that was a great period of time. I'm really happy I did that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why we're here. You know, we are here to make games for you. You know, when we write our scripts, it's, it's not... You know, because there's sometimes there's writing that feels like maybe I don't want to say self-aggrandizing or whatever, but whenever we're writing, it's just it. I mean, we can't not have you in mind. It's in the very DNA of who we are. This game studio has always existed with YouTube and you know everyone, like all of you guys. It, even if you haven't known it, it has existed with you in mind. Um, and I, I really hope that's something that comes through in our narratives. Our narratives are. They're really, they're less about telling our story and they're more about placing you in a story that you really gel with, that you you really mesh with, that you can feel immersed in. Like that is a million percent our goal. And really, if, if there was a company mission statement, it would just be make cool shit. That's mm. why we're here. Yeah, no, I, I particularly like the idea that it's putting people in the story and in the control of it all because it's a little bit different to what you would expect of a kind of a more traditional kind of branching narrative that you've got control of things because obviously people think of like the likes of mass effect and stuff like that in terms of like you know it kind of all boils down to or not always but some of it boils down to what ending you get or something like that but it's more like the kind of uh i guess the granularity of it means that i mean obviously this is the tr like treaded out stuff that people say all the time but it's like it's going to be your experience a little bit because of how you approach leadership and all that kind of thing so it actually is, you know, it's that granular, hey, you're basically in control here. Yeah. As and it, in as much control as a game developer can actually put you in without it being a massive sandbox. But yeah. I think one of the, it's a very important fantasy, actually. And I think yeah. it's one of those places where a game can really be for good. Yeah. Um, and that is the, the role of a leader. Hmm. And, you know, I think about great media. You know, you've got uh, Battlestar Galactica. I think especially, you know, new Battlestar Galactica. Bill Adama, I mean, that's a character that people deeply love. Uh, Picard, of course. Um, Shackleton, you know, the real Shackleton. The lessons of leadership when you read that expedition. Feats, you know, incredible stuff. Um, 
So for us, it's about like, what is what is a compelling role for a player where they can just absolutely feel at one with their character? And uh, you almost I almost think of that moment, you know, the moment at the very end of The Last of Us Part 1, where, you know, you're, you're kind of going through to the in the hospital bit. And, uh, and I, I know there's the controversy later on with that series, but we all know what that was like at the end of one where, you know, you, the player, you just feel like you are Joel in that moment and you are just like, you know, walking away from the screen is not an option. Um, so it's all about finding that incredible player fantasy that somebody can really just inhabit and doing everything we can to make that the best experience for somebody. Hmm. So that's the mission. As I said, if you want to support us, you can check out the Steam page and wish list there. It really does help us out. And for more info, we do have a channel spun up for Belly Studios. And as time goes on, we want to share more of what game development is really like. We want to get into, you know, eventually when we can, I, I'd like to go into the finances of game development. I would like to go into the process of how you can actually get a game picked up by a publisher. Um, all of these things I really want to go into because if we can also provide people with education, um, it means that, well, you know, we're doing a little bit more than, than the game. And I just think there'll be a lot of value in that. So that is what's up. And that's it. Wish this in Steam. Have a great day. Me and Matt are going to be right back at you super quick. Some real hot news. See you later.